What's going on, everybody? It is Deltray. We are back with some more Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3. And last time, we fought off Zalmo, the Heresy Examiner, out for blood. The blood of young Mai G, who <laughs> has made an enemy of the church, one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful, faction in all of Ivalice. How lovely. <laughs> Today, we're actually going to earn that insane difficulty moniker in the title because it's going to be a three piece. It's gonna be a three-piece, and two of the battles are insanely difficult. One of them is still pretty tough. <sighs> Honestly, I think our best bet is to just jump right into it because I would like to try and get two in today. No promises. <laughs> it might be one and then like a failure reel in all honesty because... <laughs> oh man, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. That said, I'm really hoping that Estelle here can put in some good work on these next coming maps. I saw some people say that they didn't really use dancers like that in the original game. I saw another comment too that sort of describes, I guess, for lack of a better word, a lot of the things that I like about a hack like this. Because it was essentially saying, you know, these difficulty mods are so cool because they force you to play around with options in the game that you never would have thought to use in the original game. Dancers aren't exactly different here in 1.3 per se, but they are much better. Now that there, there are some buffs that they got, like I think that their dances are all much faster now. So that would be a very big benefit to them in terms of making them a more useful class. But still, the point stands that in the original game, even if dances were exactly as they are in 1.3, you would never really use them because you can just kill the enemy. You know, there's no real need to make them any less dangerous than they already are if I can just one-shot them with almost anybody, you know what I mean? So that is something that I think should be said for mods like this. Because it just increases the it increases the variety, you know what I mean? Because of course I could still go around trying to one-shot everything, and that would still work to an extent. You could play very offensively, but you could play very defensively as well. And dancers are a nice mix of both, really, when you think about it, because although they focus on harming the enemy, if I can hold out for long enough to drain all their MP, for example, like we saw on Zalmo's map, then that's going to increase my survivability significantly. Because if mages can't throw out holies, big summons, stops, nasty status effects, you name it. If they can't use those spells, then all of a the sudden, they're no longer like these massive hulking lions. They're little kittens, if that makes sense. They're, they're hardly any kind of threat at that point. So that's a cool thing that you can do in this that would be totally useless in the original game. And I have to give credit where it's due, I feel. All that said, though, we're going to die today. Let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so we're changing it up a little bit again. We got my G. He is still an Oracle doing the same crap. I bought Flare... Uh, Flare 2, I think it is, right? Yeah, I bought Flare 2 with Regina because I'm tired of her not having any kind of offense at all. So that is that. Uh, we're gonna do it still as a dancer, but then we have MCP who is now an equipped gun marksman with that chocobo gun that we got. And I figured that he can do some pretty good damage with that via time strike, right? He doesn't actually need the twist headband, but I don't know if... Yeah, we'll give him the green beret. That seems a little bit smarter. And we'll leave the feather boots on him because that's gonna help him get around a little bit more on this map because there's gonna be some verticality to it. And we have your shult as a ninja, but this time they're gonna carry battle skill. So in theory, I should be able to break weapons and crap like that. Oh, with two swords, you do actually get two swings on those kind of skills. So that can be pretty nice if enemies have really dangerous weapons that you just wanna break. And it, it totally disarms physical classes, basically. Unless they should happen to have some kind of other skill set, like punch art or like some other magic or something like that. But physical classes don't usually have good magic to begin with, so. If you can land a weapon break, it's, in a sense, almost as good as taking the enemy out of the fight, in a lot of cases. That's obviously not gonna fly for stuff like Geomancers and whatnot, but, you know, Knights, Lancers, things like that, it could be pretty good. Simon. Oh, what's up, man? Haven't seen him in a while. Please answer me. Who, oh, um, why, why are you here? I assume that he had generic old guy voice, right? What happened? It's dangerous here! Hurry! Run! They came for the Holy Stone, Virgo! Holy Stone. Then Alma was right. The stone's been a royal treasure for generations! When Princess Ophelia came here, they gave it to us as proof of her status. Who are they? 
who's trying to get the stone. You're Alma's older brother in my G, aren't you? Don't get any more involved. You'll be killed. We already fought a giant. I don't. I don't even know what the hell Kecklin is. Some kind of. He looks like a mad doctor who's also really fat. I guess. I don't know, but he's definitely evil. I think we're already plenty involved. Where's the holy stone? Wait, it must be here somewhere. Look for it. We can go underground from here. Let's go. I'm a fugitive, branded by the church as a heretic. Is it because of the stone? Please tell me, who are they? High priest and his sect are trying to regain power! First, they're reducing Larg and Goltana's military power by causing infighting. If the war drags on, it not only reduces their power, but, in, but trust in the royal family. What's the real reason for collecting the stones and reviving the Zodiac Braves? To gain the people's trust, of course. But the Cardinals already joined the Lukami. If it's only the stone's power, it'd be strong enough to replace the military. Funeral wants that kind of power? You're different from your brothers. More like ball beans. Perhaps you might be able to destroy their ambition. You stay here. I'll go after them. I'll go with you. We can't leave Simon alone. Hide in a safe place. Don't let anybody find you, you got that? Okay, I will. Why are we giving her the stone, though? <laughs> Why don't we have that? Hold on to this stone, just in case. That way, if you get kidnapped... Wait. Wait. <laughs> if I don't... Oh, I guess. <laughs> yeah. If I don't come back, make sure to throw it into Burgos' sea, okay? I regret that I can't help you. I wish I were born a man. Then my physical attack wouldn't be so bad. Don't be silly, Alma. Girls have all the best items in this game. You're the only one I trust. Oh, I didn't take her crap! I didn't take her crap. Yeah, she had some good stuff. Hold up, I'm gonna do that. I'm definitely gonna do that. Do I wanna save? Not in the same slot, I don't. Yeah, the main thing I wanted to take off her is this barrette. Which is another girl's only item. But as you can see, as you can see, it prevents a whole lot of status effects. It prevents instant death, petrify, confusion, berserk, stop, charm, and sleep. Those are the big ones. Those are the really big ones. Blood suck comes in handy sometimes, but honestly, oh well. The one boss that does it usually screws himself. Because, uh, well, I, I'll get to that when we get to that, I guess. But blood suck isn't always the worst thing in the world. But we haven't really even seen it. It's a very rare status anyway, so it's not really a consideration most of the time. And it can be cured by holy water, just like the zombie status. All right, let's do it, Orban Monastery, man. It's a three-piece. It's a three-piece. And uh, the fight after this one, man. The fight after this one, man. I know that I saw at least one person say that they do actually remember watching the first playthrough that I attempted of this. So needless to say, if you're watching this right now, I'm sure you understand when I say I am not looking forward to that one, man. <laughs> Not at all. I think I lost like 15 times on the next fight. No lie. It was somewhere between... It, it was more than 10, but less than 20. I remember that. I remember that. It was a, It was an awful lot. It was an awful lot. Don't really know where exactly everybody wants to be. I think something like this should be okay. We can do a lot of damage with the old MCP. If we can get a good time strike off. Because it'll be 144 and then 50% more, I want to say. So it should do about 200-ish damage. A single target, of course, but with numbers like that, man. Those are like Leviathan numbers, man. <laughs> and it also can't miss because guns do not miss unless there's the Blade Grasp ability in play. Ah, uh, good ol' Islude. You stay here, understand? Yes, sir. I love this theme, though. Remnants. I do know that for a fact that that's what this one's called. It's not over yet. Never give them the stone. Mm, I hope not. Oh, and I have... <sighs> that's exactly the problem. Uh, Yurchel, I think, is totally out of range. To be of any use, really. He's still gonna go first. And yeah, that's <sighs> that sucks. And I could have seen that I was right behind a book. He's going down. Uh, so I don't really know what I'm doing with it. I could maybe throw out a speed rune, though. No, 
No, probably not. I think that's too much. That's too much height. So I guess my next best play would be to stay the hell away from these guys, right? Do they have ignore height or is their jump just that good? Yeah, it's just that good. Probably due to that spear bonus. They all have move plus three. Wow, that's nasty. That's nasty. It's really hard to stay out of these guys' range. I would have liked to break their weapons, but alas, I didn't, I didn't really check their skills. More Hamido, so I guess I maybe couldn't have broken his crap anyways. Lots of sprint shoes that I could have been stealing, I suppose. We have a good amount of status, though. We should be able to disable them pretty well. Yeah, this chick also has Hamido. Just in case he thought he could run up and smack her. Of course, she's not going to do a whole lot of damage to you that way, but it does, it does waste your turn, essentially. So be mindful of things like that. Oh, I should have stolen... I don't... I actually, I don't have steel armor. But the black robe is sweet because, as you can see, boost, fire, lightning, and ice. All in one item slot. Not too bad. Not too bad. She had black or summon. She had black. Summon. White. So they've got basically all the major schools there. If I... <laughs> I wish I wasn't standing right there of all places. Now it's time for nameless dances. I think it's to oh I almost missed one yeah nameless dance no I mean they can probably jump me to death if they really want to but we're gonna make them come to me bottom line they can't really do an awful lot just yet but it's gonna get bad very quickly thankfully they go for spin fist over anything else they could have done so that's good for me I'm not even sure we had any major reaction commands that could have gone off there, but I just presume that we're never getting them, so there's that. And as you can see, their levels are starting to pick up on these guys considerably. Now, if I could spell absorb that girl, maybe I could stop her. Maybe I could stop that summon or the holy... I mean, she was the white magic one, I think. That's a lot of damage, too. And all, honestly... Oh, I can't... Hmm. Holy and dark holy. Oh, it's percentage-based, of course. Hello. So, if... Oh, yeah, I could probably... Well, hold on now. I just said it was percentage-based, so what kind of percentage are we talking? A third? A third of her MP. That puts her under range. Thus, saving my ass. <laughs> I do believe. Yeah, let's go right here and Spell Absorber. Yeah, that'll keep me totally safe. She won't be able to get the spell. Awesome. Awesome. How long for this time strike now? No, I might be able to honestly just shoot her. Because she's charging. It's neutral. 144 plus a third, I want to say, should kill her. I want to say that she will die. No lie. Yep. <laughs> oh, she is very dead. Very, very dead. Maybe these, uh, maybe these girls aren't the brightest. Maybe not. Maybe, just maybe not. <laughs> Oh man, that was beautiful. That actually worked out so well. That worked out so well despite how bad this looked at first. That was awesome, and that would have always worked as well because it was neutral again. Now, I imagine that Dawson puts me in range to be dropped by that jump, or he himself may jump. Oh, he's actually gonna revive her. So that means I get to keep MCP around for a little while. And we should actually be able to get a flare by this point, I wanna say. No lie. No lie. If Janique would make her move, goddamn Janique! It's not that complicated. You're going to lose. Oh! He says. Uh oh. <laughs> so that's what it feels like, I guess. <laughs> she probably had the gems too, right? No, she doesn't, but she, has, she still has a million MP. A million magic, I mean. So we need to be very, very careful. You would think I'd be very, very familiar with the range on this by now, but <laughs> here we are. Seeing as to how we have some four range spells here, I should be able to, in theory, throw like a frog right here. And potentially disable those two time mages, at least. Could even go for a zombie. But, but a zombie in this case wouldn't be nearly as good. I guess I should have given her the Holy Miter. I was not aware that I wasn't able to even use that spell. That's what I get. But that's just as well because the frog should be pretty good. I'm just kind of curious where that one guy jumped at, actually, because I might be able to catch him. I wasn't watching where he was. I'll be honest. 
I don't think he's gonna land in time regardless, so we'll just throw the spell right here. Yup, <laughs> get destroyed. How does that feel? Speaking of destroyed, though. Oh, he has Hamido again, so that's really annoying. Actually, this is my best bet. For sure. Got he. Now, I'm gonna have to revive my G. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't see that. Ooh. This would have been so much better if, uh, if Yurchil was in a better position. I guess we know for the future. I didn't... Yeah. Oh, this is gonna hurt so bad. My G is done. The only question is, does Estelle survive? Because if we start getting these nameless songs, or nameless dances, I mean, that could be enough to turn it around, honestly. She lives easily. No auto potion, though. I guess that was 600 JP well spent. <laughs> she had better brave than that. Come on. Give me some frogs. Miss. Probably hit the one in crit, no doubt. I hate this game. <laughs> Give me this nameless dance. And do not unfrog her, though, please. Because that is a serious concern. They can, they can become unfrogged from that. Of course I hit slow on the... Man. Okay. Well, that could have been much better. Maybe Witch Hunt was my way. Yeah. Well, there's a confused frog time mage running around. And... She's one of the two people getting a turn, so I don't really fear for what she might want to do. Because, like, really, what, what could she possibly do? And that jump was totally wasted, which is just great. That is just great. My only beef is... I don't have revival on my guy. And I didn't think so. Yeah, we're clipping the floor, basically. Now, this guy have a shield with a weakness, perhaps. Because that would be sort of useful. No, he's just got a gold shield. Okay. So, catch this water ball, though. I mean, that's still damage. And he'll probably die to a hole. He had that connected. Or had I just been intelligent and had flair, too. That probably would have done it. What's that? Carbuncle rejuvenate. Annoying. Well, this chick's gonna go... Probably get Hamido. Oh, God. What? You just know if I would've went for that attack. First of all, it would've never hit. Second, Hamido was coming in hot. I promise. Nope, can't get the rejuvenate. Or can't get the... Can't get the whatever. The, the spell. Judd. Probably this guy, right? No, there's Abel. Very fitting. I can actually catch this guy because he is slowed. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel that I should go for that. And those time majors are more or less spent, so I guess they're kind of inconsequential. It doesn't matter if they want to try and heal up. I wasn't aware that these ladies took any damage, actually. Did they? No, no, no. She was trying to heal the... I know. I see what was going on. She was trying to heal the frog. He can reach me, huh? No, he can't. Cool. That's what you get. Yeah, I thought for sure that would land. I thought for sure that that would land. Fortunately, it did not. Yeah, what are they doing? <laughs> They're just wasting their time. But that is exactly what's going to keep me in this, I want to say. No lie. She can't really do anything too scary. I don't think so. And if she does, she's going to have to uh, approach, which is what we want. That might not speed me. Huh. Yep. What a bad game. What a bad game. <laughs> yeah, seeing as that happened, I feel like I should probably try to, like, just axe this guy entirely. His reaction is very annoying. I don't want to deal with it. Goodbye, my G. Actually, if she gets both of us with that, that's basically game, isn't it? We didn't, though. We dodged skillfully. So that's cool. Let me get this petrified and let's see it go through. 56 isn't so bad. It's coin flip after all. We miss. That's, it's not looking so good. It's definitely not looking so good. Well, I kind of need to bring back my marks, but... This, this setup will work just fine. I just need to... First of all, I should have enough MP to use Flare, too. Which is a huge mistake, no doubt. Oh, yeah, there's really no sense, huh? 
Yeah, that's for sure a good game, though. I have no more revival. Yeah, so I just need to tweak this slightly. Hold on. I think something like this is our way. Yep. We want to pull right and away from that summoner. Without a doubt. And since my G has a lot of white magic abilities, we can... Maybe throw out some shells and things like that to prevent the first round of magic from just wiping us, basically. That's the plan, anyways. Let's see if that comes through or not. I guess my only fear here, though, is that with my G on the right-hand side, they might just target him down, but I don't really foresee that being an issue unless compatibility comes through in a big way. Oh, well, this guy, what did he have? I'm sorry, but I, I, I think that if I... I think that if I hit him with a throw, that should actually put him in range for a flare, probably. And we want to do this from here and not at the top of the staircase because he has a Mito and a two-range weapon. So he'd be able to block my hit and deal damage to me at the same time if I went from the top of the staircase like that. Which is why we're offset ever so slightly. Uh, you can just run back to this corner. And we are going to be in range of a potential huge AoE, but the problem is that the summoner starts so far away that it's going to take her at least two moves to get over here. And by then, Witch Hunt should have done its thing. Or so goes my plan. I imagine that Stanley here just goes for a spin fist because he should have good on us and he can get at least three of us. Yeah. But it's not going to matter like that and auto potion may even... Yes, it does. Nice. It's going to cancel out that damage entirely. So that was a wasted move on his part, basically. Only thing I'm really hoping to see here is that Lancer with good compatibility on us move before... Oh, we got to shoot her. Wait, did we have bad with her? Because if so, then I may not be able to get that move through. Well, I mean, I can get the move through, but it might not be able to kill her. Which is less ideal. What's going on here? They're double targeting me. So I should be able to kill one of them, though. And in all honesty, I think the same spot works for both. Maybe not. So I'll just target whoever I have good with. Or at least whoever I don't have bad with. So it looks like I have decent with you. And I have bad with you. So we want to make sure we're shooting her. Without a doubt. Yeah, that makes sense to me. <laughs> I hope it made sense to you as well. So here we go. She's done. Chocobo gun is pretty sweet. <laughs> Not gonna lie on that. Pretty darn sweet here. Yeah, we kill you. Without a doubt, we kill you. And then, I don't think that he can ever Hamido me, but in the off chance that he can, I'm actually gonna move right there. And the other time mage is so far away that there's not a chance in hell that she can get a huge AoE here. They have to attack the MCP if they're going to try to kill him with that combination of spells. Actually, I don't think that they do. I think Anderson would have to attack him as well. And if he does, that's even better for me. Oh, he moved out of way of the Petrify, I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure that he just did right then. But if not Petrify, then Flare 2 coming through. That's what I say. That's exactly what I say, since we actually remember to have the MP for it this time. God damn it, Deltra. I can't believe I did that. That was embarrassing. Most certainly. Uh, she should not be able to get a huge thing going here. Maybe she can take out Yurchel and uh, MCP, I guess. Hmm. But then she's done. Let's see the range again. Obviously, we don't want to walk right into it, but... Oh, no, I can, I can move right here. Yep, I can move right there. What? I said right here. Come on now, game. Work with me. And if I move right here, this Flare 2 goes through. On all of these clouds. They, can't, they have no time to move out of the way. The only thing happening is spells resolving. We're, we're going to lose two ourselves. But... We're going to take four of them with us when all is said and done. Yeah, she didn't even kill him. I guess there's always the potential that one of my guys dodges, right? It certainly could happen. Not necessarily counting on it. We moved... Oh, we moved Estelle in such a way that she can immediately pick up Yurgil. My G still has enough MB to throw out a revive of some kind as well. So I can get everybody back in the game, basically. And... Well, that Lancer is very dead, by the way. There's absolutely no chance that he survives because we had best with him and he has good faith. So the two time mages are now dead because of the flare. I assure you that they will both die. Well, mm, the one we did have bad compatibility with, so maybe not. Ooh, Yurja lives. Yurja lives. 
So now all of the time mages are for sure gonna die. Because if the flare 2 should happen to fail, then Yurtel is right there. So goodbye to this guy. That early throw on him was pretty huge as you saw. Here comes a flare 2, and this spell is so goddamn strong. It's stronger than Leviathan, by the way. Like, by default. You can't boost it. I think one of the Lancers maybe dodged. Nope, definitely not. Why did he live? So easily. <laughs> That's the part where I'm confused. Like, had it been close, maybe maybe I wouldn't be so concerned. But that was nothing. What happened? I thought he was the guy we had best with, right? Virgo to Capricorn, I thought. Unless there's something going on. Hold up. Virgo? Oh, who's the... Wasn't there? Oh, he was the guy that rushed right in, huh? I thought one of these guys was a Capricorn. I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. <laughs> Not like it matters. This girl is now spent, as I say. 60, 60, 40, 40. Yeah, so what we want to do then, I think, is pick up, pick up the MCP. Because he can just shoot this guy bypassing his evasion. Actually, unless we have bad with this guy, we can outright kill him. We can outright kill him before he does anything. And that girl down there is spent on MP. Whereas if not for that, she could easily get an AoE Fairy here. Which would basically undo all the work that we just did, you know. So this is probably the best possible way. We'll pick you up, you can then shoot the other Lancer. The last guy by himself is of no threat. Let's just stay the course, get this last Witch Hunt. Now the nice thing about Dancers is that because they don't have to move, I can just have her wait and she's just saved 40 CT without having to do anything, and she's still doing a useful action here. Because just the fact that she is dancing like that means that she's doing these witch hunts, obviously. And in the off chance that those guys have item... Yeah, as you can see, we're already back to 45, by the way. We might even outspeed this this uh, Lancer. Oh, I guess not. I guess not. Actually, maybe it still counts as an action. It seems like we should have more, doesn't it? But bottom line, you don't have to move anywhere, so at the very least, you're always saving 20 CT. Because you're not really concerned with her positioning so much as which dance you choose. So we drop him for good. No, it's just that he has a lot of evasion, so we're actually going to try to paralyze him because that will counter his HP restore. You can't use a reaction if you are hit with the don't act status. Something to keep in mind. I don't believe he's immune to this. And I, I want to move anyways because if I don't, we'll probably hit Yurchil. Which is not what we want, so we'll move over here. Paralyze. 67. 67% chance to completely neuter the rest of this fight. Let's do it. I don't believe there's any way that that one Lancer can come back at this point regardless, but it is something. And if that, uh, if that other Lancer had gotten Dragon Sphere, I could just switch to his Nibus because re-raise still brings you back with very little HP. So he would come back in range of Wiz Nibus. He would come back in range of Wiz Nibus to just kill him again. Basically. Which is another very practical application of that dance, I want to say. And she's completely out of MP, so she can do nothing. No fairies, no Rambus, no last ditch effort Odin, Moogle, none of that. None of that. And Taurus to Taurus is neutral, so that's whatever. Instead, we can start hitting this guy right now while he has no reaction to speak of. I guess it was MCP that I bought Aether on. Should probably buy it for this guy. Most definitely. Just seems smarter. Yeah, that was oh, that was hilarious. Good job, me. And now we're gonna switch up dances. I'm not entirely sure if I'll be doing more than 10. It does depend on her strength. So the higher that is, the more damage she can do. She doesn't really have to worry about like weapon evasion or anything like that, so that's something to keep in mind. You can give her one of the bags that boost up strength. Uh, I think the it's either the P bag or like the FS bag. It's it's something. One of the bags gives you three strength so that would make that do about 15 per go and that's gonna go off again I have no doubt yeah it's gonna go off twice in the same round and the next round it'll go off three times yeah so if this were 15 that'd be 45 damage right there without the enemy being able to interrupt that uncontested from anywhere on the map which is pretty cool pretty cool for sure like I say I saw somebody say that they never really used dancers like that but even though they can't do huge damage or anything like that in one hit, 
the fact that it's so universal is what makes it crazy to me. And what would really be sweet is if you had like a whole team of them, you know? Because they don't have to be anywhere near the enemy. They can move freely. They're pretty fast as is. So you could probably just run away for the whole fight and easily kill the enemy with a whole team of like FS bag dancers throwing out with Nibis every turn. Because if we were doing 45 per round with one dancer, with four dancers that would be what? 180 per round <laughs> to everybody? So yeah, that would be pretty sweet. I won't lie. They don't have a whole lot of durability issues anyways, not like that. And that was Nibus, I'm pretty sure put him in range of spirit search, so yeah, that's game. Right there. Right there. And if not that dance, then this one most certainly will. But yeah, I imagine that, like a team of multiple dancers could kite the enemy forever. I was thinking maybe like two dancers and then three really tanky characters. That sounds like a pretty sweet setup, you know? Maybe I should make a bigger deal out of these crystals, huh? They're still useful. But I just know that I'm going to have to spend a lot of time on this next fight because it is no joke. It is no joke. And I'm really not sure how we're going to tackle it just yet. I'll be honest. We're going to get some good stuff here, though. A power source, which again are the replacement for the elixirs in this game. We can't use those just yet. As you saw, it's not a viable skill. There's only but one character that can use those at all. Save on up. You can just save over this slot, I suppose. And let me let me relook at my inventory and crap just to see if we can't pull something off here. I don't know, man. We're just going to try this, I guess. I'm about to get body bagged for an hour straight, no doubt in my mind. So what we have here is my G with Equip Shield, which I bought off the night class. We actually had enough JP for this. And all things considered, he has a hell of a lot of evasion, right? 30% from the weapon guard, which will always go off. 28% from the shield, which will go off so long as nobody's directly behind him. So that's 58 right there. And then an extra 24% if they're attacking him head on. So he's, he's really evasive. Really evasive. What is that like? I don't know, but these guys aren't going to have a whole lot of accuracy on him, bottom line, unless they're hitting him from behind or using magic, but they don't have a lot of magic, so I think this should keep him sort of safe. He doesn't have a whole lot of HP, but if he's not taking any damage, that's just as good, I think. I'm going to need her, hopefully, to, like, blow up the boss, because if, <laughs> if I have any luck, I can just kill him before he becomes a threat, but I really doubt that that's going to happen, because this map is stupidly hard. <laughs> At least for me, I don't know, I didn't really do a whole lot of poaching or anything like that, really only the Whale Whisker. Maybe if I had spent more time grinding up resources like that, it could have been easier. And I gotta say, it is actually kind of fun for me trying to find those random battles and stuff because, I, I don't know, there's just something so addictive about that, right? Getting into the wrong battle five times and then finally, finally you find the right one that you were looking for. So you get that sweet item or whatever. So it it's fun and satisfying and all that, but I just don't have the time to do that, I feel. And I think we can make do with what we have, so that is why she is the way she is. Hopefully... If I have luck, she'll get, like, dropped into crit at some point, but not killed so she can get her MP back for free. That'd be pretty cool. The most interesting one probably is Estelle, who is now a Geomancer, so she can boost her physical attack through the roof. Well, I say through the roof. She can get it up to 10, which ain't too bad. I could probably get it higher. I could get it up to 12, in fact, but I want her to have the Thief Hat over anything else just so that she can actually start her dance. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the Judo, not the Judo outfit, but the Twist Headband might be better. She would move dead last. But was Nibis a super fat? I, I don't know if we should be messing around with things like this, but I'll give her the twist headband. Which will give us more damage. It'll give us more damage if nothing else. MCP. We're going to sort of keep with the same thing. And I do have some feather boots on people because the boss does have Earth Slash and is ridiculously strong. So if I can just, if I can just avoid the Earth Slash entirely, I feel like that will help me out. Uh, but, but nothing's gonna save me from these resets, probably, so let's just, let's just see what happens. If absolutely nothing else, this map has probably the best battle theme I've ever heard in any game like this. Like, in any strategy game, I don't know, this one might honestly be my favorite one. In all honesty. For the underground book storage floor number three. It's called Under the Stars, by the way. It's very, very good. We might not be hearing it for that long, depending on how this goes, I don't know. Either we'll kill him really fast or we're going to lose really fast. Oh, I'm sorry. Heretic, my G, hand us the stone. We'll be seeing it again, I have no doubt. No, why don't you give me yours? Do as I say and I'll let you live. I like how hardcore my G becomes all of a sudden here. You think you can beat us? Then I'll take it by force. 
And he's not messing around. His loot is... Oh, he's so strong. He's so strong. I don't understand why. I mean, I do understand why. It's because... He, he was always sort of like a fan favorite to begin with. So, it makes some amount of sense. But, oh man, let's actually just look at him real quick. Because he's, he's bonkers. We actually don't have particularly good compatibility with him. And his faith is terrible. But anyways, his, his setup here is ridiculous. This Holy Lance has 14 power. Uh, he's not using two hands or anything like that. So that's good, if nothing else. But I think he just has attack up innately. He also has battle skill. But it's not... It's not like that. He, he has punch art, though, is the thing. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah. It, this is a special command. Nightblade job command breaks skill that destroys equipment and parameters. But he also has punch art tied into this job skill. So he can use, like, Earth Slash Weight Fist, which is, again, why we have the Feather Boots, which will counter Earth Slash, which is the move of his with the greatest range. He also has jump, and he has, like, max... What is this? Speed times two? I have no idea what it's trying to say. I really don't. Unless he has a special jump command or something, I... The charge time depends on speed. The duration of flight charge time is the same meter to charge at twice one's own speed. Oh, I get what it's trying to say, but that's... That's a roundabout way of describing it. Anyways, he's horrifying because he also has nearly 450 health that we have to take down. We have to take off about 400 of it at any rate, which is not going to be easy. 12 physical attack. He has maintenance as well, so if you thought, oh, I'll just steal his weapon, now he's no threat. No, you thought wrong. He's always a threat. He also has move HP up, which is a little bit annoying because of the whole dancer thing we have going on, so I'm not going to be able to whittle him like that. He has a regenerator, though, and that's way better. That's way better than a lot of other abilities that he could have had, potentially. I think he can have, like, abandon, which sucks, but we're not really, we're not really counting on that to begin with. Now, his group is also terrifying because these two Lancers are going to rush you right at the start. Now, do we have bad on this guy? Because that would be very unfortunate. We actually do. Yikes. With, uh... With Regina, I mean. And we might have bad on you, too, which would just be a major no-no. No, that's that's at least neutral. So what I'm thinking is going to happen is that... Well, I guess we're going to see. We're going to see. There's also this random Onion Knight Vicky over here. I don't know... <laughs> So supposedly this is based on some sort of, like, crazy fan fiction or something like that, from what I understand. Because there's going to be these two Onion Knights and they're going to be fighting each other down here in the library. I don't know, I kind of like... <laughs> I always kind of like to imagine that Vicky here is just like a super pissed off library. <laughs> down here organizing the shelves, taking inventory and all that. And then all of a sudden here comes Islu, <laughs> making all this noise. And her weapon is random too, so I'd like to think that she just grabbed the nearest object. <laughs> so she can come down here to kick some ass like, It's a library! <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth! <laughs> but if she survives the battle, she will join your team. And she's really broken, which is what we're going for. We're going to hopefully keep her alive. Which is why... Oh, where's my... Oh, shoot. You're not the one with punch art. MCP's the one with punch art. Oh, god damn it. That changes things, yep. Yeah. Let's just take this L. I need, I think I need him to have an actual secondary. This battle is not that easy. So let's count that as a loss. <laughs> okay, honestly, not the worst thing in the world, though, because I just realized that MCP has enough to buy Aeroguard. After that time, he spent as a marksman on the last fight, so I bought him Aeroguard, which should help, because there were some marksmen on that map as well. Hold on, though. We gotta <laughs> reset ourselves up. Man, that sucked. At least we can see what Aislu was saying at the start now, right? It's gonna be a new guy every round, I feel. Fortunately, Amy only has a pole, so that's not too bad. Not really. Unless we start getting char- Okay. Okay. 47% you say? More like 100. I didn't want to give this flare too off anyways. Why would I? <laughs> and the only order that this works is we pick up you, who picks up you, who then maybe tries to pick up you. We do have five moves, thanks to the Whale Whisker. No, it can't be done. It can't be done. We either have to kill Islu somehow, or we're going to die. Well, we're not going to die, but the Onion Knight is going to die. I honest to God think that we can still win from this position, no lie. It's just, I don't want her dead. Yep, we're starting to crit these guys now, so they're just gonna run. And without even engaging these guys, they're almost dead. Which is just amazing. 
Now, she can technically hit me, but she can't one-shot me. And Auto Potion will basically negate that if it goes off as it does. Cool. So she's still nice and healthy. The only thing... The only thing we need, I suppose, is for MCP to come back to his senses. Because this guy's going to waste his time trying to drop him and get it. So never mind. I think we lose now for sure. God damn, that was close. That was close. I think we can make this strategy work. Without a doubt. But I have no revival and no way to kill his loot. So, uh, that's going to be curtains for this attempt. I like how he almost killed his entire team without coming near them, though. <laughs> and that's why dancers are pretty sweet. Yeah, here goes everybody. We can at least watch the glory that is this, I suppose. One. Two. <laughs> Good stuff. <sighs> this is workable, though. This just might be the strategy. I say without that bad luck, we had it. I say so. I didn't expect to find you here, but just in time. That's what he said. <laughs> I really don't mind how many times I have to play this map, though, because this map theme is a banger. <laughs> I do not care. Hopefully, Islud goes hard right, though. Again, that seems like that was very good for me. If he wanted to bum rush me right off the bat, that could be much worse. That could be much, much worse. But what he's doing is trying to kill the Onion Knight, I assume. Because he can do it very easily. <laughs> Fortunately... The game was nice enough to put her one tile out of range, I think, so he can't do anything nasty to her on the first go. What would suck is if one of these guys happened to have good compatibility with, like, butts or something. That wouldn't be very good. Neither would Regina dying immediately, for that matter, but... I want to say that that could be played around. In theory. Maybe I should be putting her up against the wall? No, no, no. I don't really mind if that goes through because we have HP restore. And that's not enough to kill us, but it is enough to crit us. And... Oh shit, they're smart! Help! <laughs> I say it's not enough, but it's definitely enough, huh? Oh no. This guy had what now? Nothing to kill me. Nothing to kill me. All that really matters here. Now, I'm pretty sure that MCP can just pick up Urucho before anything bad happens, though, because he does still have Revive. Hold on. I just want to see what the turn order is. Come on, Tiara. Quit messing around. Oh, yeah. Cheryl, <laughs> the Onion Knight, her name is Random, okay? So is all the stuff that she comes with, as well as her Zodiac sign, but her Brave and Faith are always very good. She's basically girl version of my G. No lie. Oh, this isn't actually horrible, because she has good with... She has good with one of the girls, but worse with the other. Mm. I guess we'll see. She has good with Estelle, but worse with Regina. Now, this time, thankfully, she didn't get charmed, so we're not in as big of a hurry. Oh, here's a move, though. If I just chalk her right now before the time strike goes off, he survives, gets HP restore. Right? I think so. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Move here, Chakra. Yeah, I'm technically healing that guy, but he hasn't taken any damage yet anyways, so what's the difference, really? Uh, now I can get this Flare to... Yeah, and Islid's still so far away, so we can definitely do this. Put ourselves against the bookcase so that the Marksmen have a little bit harder of a time hitting us like that. And that's good enough damage that we can pick those guys off very easily. My G is good for one. And you saw what Dance is about to do to these guys. You already saw. Let's not even play games. <laughs> and failing that, Yurgil can just kill the other. Pretty darn easily. That confirms the kill. That confirms the kill. But we'll go on this guy. We'll go on that guy. So even if that hits, which it didn't, we would have gotten HP Restore most likely. Not 100%, but it's reliable enough that I feel like that was definitely our best play. Or I could throw something at the Marksman, which would make him die faster to the, uh, to the Wesnibus. Because I don't, I don't really want to take the shot on that guy, because in all honesty, more likely than not, 
I'm going to miss because it's a head-on shot. Whereas this basically shaves three attacks that I need. Even more than that. Wow, is he weak to fire? I guess balls are just that much better. Wow. Wow, why, why would I have my shurikens then? I know that the later ones are better, but this is like half of his health if it hits, which it did. Cool. No CT save either, so that was a very good turn. That's a very, very good turn. Five with Snibus will kill him. Well, I actually think it does need six, huh? But that's that's two rounds. That's two rounds for him to die, basically. I imagine that Islu jumps Cheryl or whatever her name was this time. Pick a name and stick with it, goddamn. No, what is he doing? Could he not kill her, honestly? Really? I don't think I've ever seen Islu not kill something in one hit. He's just that strong. But I guess we can start this chipping party right now. And this has turned out to be a very, very decent setup. Never really tried it before, but it's working out here. And with the Onion Knight giving us an extra little bit of, uh, extra little bit of damage like that, we should be able to drop that other marksman as well fairly quickly. The only thing that I may have screwed up in hindsight is the fact that that other Lancer had CT save, huh? Please tell me this goes through. Okay, good, it did. It did. I was kind of fearing that the CT save would allow him to get a move, move out of the way of Flare, or just outright kill Regina, which would be awful. Awful. Worst case scenario, easily. He is probably, in all likelihood, about to move again, though. Because if his reaction goes off here, he should be fast enough to attack me. But he's low on health, so he maybe runs away. Yeah, here's his turn. He's He could try to shuriken me. Yeah, he will. Dodge. Oh, 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 oh sweet. <laughs> that didn't matter at all because MCP is right there. But... I'll take it. <laughs> I'll definitely take it. Not about to catch me complaining about that. No way. Dodge again. Dodge again. Oh. <laughs> well. Yeah, like I say, we can just revive her instantly, though. So it's not as if that changes anything in a huge way. Now, did this guy have a crossbow? I actually think that he did. No, I guess not. But that's... I mean, it's respectable damage, but it doesn't matter like that. I can even finish that guy off. He didn't have a bend, and he just has defense up, though. Well, I have attack up, so that that sort of that sort of cancels out, I suppose. Yeah, no doubt. If he, well, no, because he's in run mode, though. He's in run away like a little coward mode. So I guess I probably should backshot this guy, so that he will die. I think that's what we're doing. I mean, in all honesty, I can probably just kill him. Yeah, I'll just kill him. No reason not to. So catch, kid. Actually, don't catch, because that would counter this, huh? There is a reaction command in the game that is specifically designed to be throw. It's called catch. And if you if you power level a whole bunch and happen to fight an enemy with the throw command, they can throw really, really high level weapons. I don't know how much that has been changed in 1.3, in all honesty. Don't charm, or, don't charm me. Katamachi? That better not be enough. And also don't get the donut, please. Oh, son of a gun, man. How am I gonna... <laughs> what am I doing now with my G? I don't know. I feel like we can come back from that fairly easily. It's just that I'll move here and I'll throw up a revive. Seems to make the most amount of sense to me. My G's just gonna have to hang tight for another turn. Or I could honestly even... No. Well, this would this would kill him though. Is the thing, and I'm fearful that. Now let's be decisive. Let's pick you back up. You can get a turn. Can't do too much with that turn, admittedly, but we can keep her safe if nothing else. Yeah, I guess that's how it's gonna have to be. Uh, I want the high ground so that these guys can't basically instantly redrop me. This guy's gonna be in critical by the time his turn comes up again, so as long as we're not within six tiles. Then again, it's like the best possible spot, but I think that I do need to get out of there, and we have to stigma magic by G anyway, so we've got a second. We've got a second to make that work. 
Yeah, we need to get him back ASAP. But since it's going to be just Islude this time, and he's either going to drop the Onion Knight or Spiritual. Looks like the Onion Knight is dead. <laughs> very, very dead. Wow, he really couldn't kill her with a jump, I guess. Because that was the only reason that he just didn't do that the first time. We should get one kill here, and then everybody else is going to be put into crit who's not named Islude. I think that's how this goes, because it's two in a row. Doesn't matter if he gets his turn, doesn't matter at all. He can't do anything. I mean, he could throw. He could throw it, which I guess was a mistake, because now they can kill me through the HP restore. But Islude could kill me anyways, so it's not as if that somehow changed. Maybe I pick up the Onion Knight with Yurchel. Or I could probably start picking people off with throws. Probably the better way, don't you think? Because it might even persuade Islude to start wasting his time by reviving his own allies. Like I say, this guy should not be able to hit anybody meaningful. Oh, he can hit my G, of course. But that's actually better for me in a way. Because I have more people that can clear dead than I do don't death. MCP is the only one that can recover people from death. Or uh, from don't act, I mean. But I can just move. Uh, if I wanted to, I can move Yurchel, like, right there. And revive my G right now. Which is what I'm going to do, I guess, because I think that my G can get a Spirit Surge on that Onion Knight. Which should, in theory, allow us to kill her in combination with this next with Snibus. And again, if it wasn't apparent why I moved Regina out of range, only to move her right back here, it's so that that Marksman couldn't kill her on his way out. Perfect, okay. So assuming we can get that, though, I think this is looking like a done deal. Is it going to go through? Yep, sure will. So these two things in combination with each other. Oh, she does have catch. <laughs> That's funny. Assuming we hit this 85, though, she's dead. She's dead, leaving Islude as the only one alive. Oh, he's... Wow, he hang, he's hanging on. I guess he has, like, 2 HP, though, probably. Which is no threat. That's no threat. And because Islude's still alive, he's not going to come back for me, basically. So all I need to do now is devise a way to revive our Onion Knight. And we should be good. Islude may even start reviving, but it's no good. Nope, gonna drop my G, but that's fine. He did what he needed to do. He definitely did what he needed to do. Uh, the only really unfortunate part about that is that is... He's not gonna be in on this next chakra, basically. Which is a little bit unfortunate. I may, in fact, just start changing my dance here and start breaking his power. It honestly might be smarter to start breaking his power, wouldn't you say? Just go for the revive, I guess. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Even my, uh, my G might even be able to... I don't know, throw out a protect or something like that. No, I will secure the gill, and then I will start breaking his power. I will also move, because we've given him a really good AoE there, if not for that. Well, I suppose not really, though. Not really, though. He's not close enough to do, like, a spin fist or anything just yet. We are going to get out of the way, though, in the, K in the off chance that something weird happens. So this is going to go through, drop the last guy. His loot is actually starting to take some amount of chip. Not a whole lot, but it's going to make it easier to dogpile him in the end. As you can see, he's certainly taking a little bit here. And I want to say that if I revive the Onion Knight, his loot will go after her, which is preferable, and it also resets her counter. If Yurchul should be in danger, we can always pick him up with my G, and he's also on even footing. So we should be able to use MCP as well, who has the better jump stat here, so he can get in uh, much closer, much more quickly. Cheryl's going to do something. I'm not entirely really sure what. I didn't even really see if she had a secondary or not. It actually could be kind of bad, though, if Izlu decides to go after her and not my guys, thinking about it, because that's going to push her really far away. So I might, unfortunately, have to give him Regina. I mean, I'd really rather not, but I don't see the alternative, really. And we need to break this line. Yeah, because I don't want him killing... I don't want him killing the Onion Knight again. No, his loot's too fast. So protect it is. We'll go for that on MCP. Do a little bit more chip, but that's... It's starting to rack up, I can't lie. 
I honestly could probably just kill him with her, with uh, Estelle by himself, by herself, I should say. Precious light. Be oh, I thought. <laughs> never mind. I thought he was about to add more dialogue because we are starting to do damage to Islu. We do, of course, miss an MCP, which is the worst case scenario. Yeah, because we we did actually so much damage to him without even getting in his range like that. He's uh, gonna trigger his next lines. Why do you go against us, my G? Though you're a Bayal, if you don't obey your brothers, why? It's because I am a Bayal that I don't obey them. The name shouldn't be used for self-gain, but rather for divine justice. During the war, my father fought and died to save people from invasion. Bayals must not fight for a defunct royal family, but only for noble rights. Then let's fight together. Our goals are the same. Listen well, my G. <laughs> the Glamados want a world where all people are equal. St. Jor's ideal world is God's world. You know people don't trust the royal family or nobility. We must do something before Ivelisse is ruined. You started this war. Was that the will of God? Certain sacrifices must be made for the revolution. Decadent royalty and nobles must pay for the people. Now, cooperate with us, as Delita did. I love this. I love this part of the game, though. It's really, really good. Because everything that he said was right. They are technically trying to achieve the same thing here. But their methodology is completely opposite. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> Help! That's not what we wanted to see. Definitely not. Now we're stuck in a little bit of a rough patch here. Ooh, that's bad. It's really bad. We can still pick up. Nobody. Uh-oh. That derailed me a little bit. <laughs> Whew. Did it get a little bit hotter in here, or is it just me? <laughs> I'm sweating. My G is good for a life. All right, where's where's Boga Boga? Do I get that off? I do not. Oh, I do. I do. We need to spread out. I don't want to give him a good Earth Slash. I don't want to give him a good Spin Fist. I don't want to give this guy anything, basically. <laughs> and you can see very clearly why. There's one crystal. That could be helpful, though. Oh, can my G reach? I really doubt it. It sounds good when you say for the people. But what you really want is a stronger army than the Knights and the evil power to control the people. Evil power? No, the stone is holy. We want to guide people by God's miracle. Never evil power. You know the Cardinal joined the Lakavi, right? <laughs> I like how he says that. You know that guy literally turned into an evil doctor abomination thing. I don't know what the hell he's supposed to be, but he creeps me the hell out. If that's not evil power, then I don't know what is. What do you mean? You killed the Cardinal and took the stone from him. But he died because he was secretly collecting the Holy Stones for us. I like how Islude's just so wrong. He's just so wrong. Oh, and I'm so dead. I'm so dead. No, come on, man. Come on, man. We had it. We had it. What was that throw? No. No. All right. And if I had gotten that protect, by the way, butts with not butts, MCP, he would have lived. But I missed the protect. Oh, man. Well, hopefully this hits. Okay, so there's one power, but I don't know how much that's going to make a difference. We can't lose both of our revival at the same time. He's going to have to pick one. He's going to have to pick one. And hopefully he picks Yurchel. That would actually be way better. Nobody's picking my G. <laughs> Goodbye, my G. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Is there any way here? Islude won't go before... No, not a chance. How many chances are we going to get to break him? Two more chances. Okay, no guarantees with that, though. No guarantees with that, though. It is only a 50% chance. But if we have a little bit of luck on our side, we can break him down to the point that 
he can't instantly kill everybody at any time. There's a miss. We get another go this round, though. We do, and I can chakra as well as move on to that crystal. That's our best bet. That's our best bet. And if we can break him down a little bit more. Because the stell is going to come up before his loot. Oh, is she? No, she's not. But he can't spin fist me. Yeah, he can't spin fist me from there, so it's okay. It's fine. We need you on full HP, though, if you have any hope of surviving. I'll take those steals. Nice arms, bud. Cheryl, you can help out if you really wanted to. Don't you have item? Come on. <laughs> I guess she must not have item, though. Otherwise, she'd be healing herself, right? I'd really appreciate this going through, though, because that could keep Virgil alive. No, no. It's going to be right down to it, isn't it? Let's see what happens here. I don't think you can kill him, can you? Oh, we can. I got to revive. I got to revive him, who then has to revive my G. Have to. Have to. And he just missed his move as well. Got to keep breaking him. We got to do better. If I would have hit every single one that we went for, then he would have lived. But that is asking quite a bit. So there's two. There's two. I don't think he can kill MCP anymore. I really don't. Come on. <laughs> this is a lot closer than I had intended it to be. I'll say that. That's for damn sure. There's three. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're definitely getting somewhere. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, here we go. This is what we needed. This is exactly what we needed. Now we're gaining ground. He can't kill us both. He can't kill us both. Unless I missed his 82. Please. Come on. Not now. Not now. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're back in this. We are back in this because now I can pick up my G and he cannot kill both of them in one go. Spin Fist, Spin Fist has no vertical tolerance. But I'm going to do it from here because if I do it from here, if I do it from this tile basically, he can hit he can hit MCP and Yurtle at the same time because MCP is floating, which gives him one extra height, which means the Spin Fist right here hits them both. I think that's how that works. But if I do like so... We can revive my G. It doesn't matter which of them gets dropped because these two tiles are of equal height, meaning the MCP can, in fact, revive despite the way that it may look. So now he has to make some decisions. And I don't think that no matter what he decides, he can do anything to really screw me. Nope. He's all the way down to doing wave fists. That's how weakened he is. That's how weakened he is. And fortunately... I mean, shoot, we can even weaken it further if we want, but bottom line, he's out of one-shotting the whole team range, which is what I was looking for, basically. Uh, we still want to be at least a little bit selective with our revives, though, because we still don't want to give him our whole team at once, basically. But I think we are starting to have a serious amount of control here, but no lie, he can't kill butts again. He can't kill butts again. And we're in range to pick up. Yes. Yes. And even if that fails for some reason, I... Uh, I don't need to kill MC... He, I said butts. I'm sorry. I'm just so used to butts the mug. Even if that fails to hit MCP with the life, it's not the end of the world. His counter is on three, and Yurchil can always revive Regina because there is no fear of Phoenix down missing. And he will go first. He will go before her. And since we didn't miss the life spell. This is the spot though. Yeah, we can pick her up. This is the spot. He can't earth slash. He can't earth slash because they're both floating. And I'm pretty sure that where Yurgil is, it's sort of prevented them from... It's prevented him from getting in the middle of those two and going for spin fist basically. So all he can hope to do is attack us head on. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> oh, the intrigue continues. The intrigue continues because now I need to wait for Islu to move. <laughs> I have to. Because he's blocking the only tile from which I can revive Yurgil. And my G, for some reason, I left in a really bad spot. What's your attack right now? Six attack. 
14 power. Gemini, I think. If I chakra her, she lives. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'll do that. I have to wait to revive Yurchul anyways, no matter what. But I'm pretty sure she actually, honest to God, lives a hit from his loot at this point. Especially if I get this Poka Poka. Let's go. Let us go. Ah, whatever. So he has six H, not HP, but he has six attack. Oh no. That's the Lancer and this is the Onion Knight, so that might not be anything special at all, really. Uh, so... I don't think we can hit him with any status whatsoever, so I just kind of have to wait. I'll move in one tile. Will I? Yeah, I'll move in one tile. God, that Earth Slash play was crazy. <laughs> Let's go grab this crystal, I guess. What do we got? Oh, yes! Yeah, look at that! Look at that, we just mastered all thieving, basically. And we even picked up... Well, we actually have just the same ones that, uh... Volanis had. And the ones that Yurchul has now. But still, having somebody else who can do that is good, because I think that, in all honesty, I might have uh, bad compatibility with the most important guy for that. No lie. I don't think he can kill anybody, though. Nope. Sure can't. <laughs> Estelle, you beast! Alright, so now I can get this revived trainer rolling. And I think that's exactly what we're about to do. There goes even yet more of his attack power. And I moved Regina in the way that I did. Oh my god, two in a row. Hell yeah. Can we land it twice, though? No. But he's down to, what, five now? An absolutely pathetic amount at any rate. Now we can just go here. It's another 82 we're rolling, but it is what it is. Come on, we're back. We're back. Now all I need to do is pick up my Jeep. And this is pretty much secured, I want to say. Move right there so that, that way I can keep the revive train rolling. My G may even get a go. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. It's going to be close. Regina. Yeah, she can grab this crystal. And I want to see the abilities naturally. But nothing good. We'll get the HP in this case. It's actually better for me. So that's going to save me a chakra. He does get a go, but he can't do anything. I will still, however, move him the hell off of this horrible, horrible position that he's in. So that that way... If anything, we move him right here, in all honesty. That's a good deal. Yeah. The chance wasn't too particularly great, but it was still a huge chunk of his health. And I might honestly switch to his Nibus now just to counter his move HP up. My only fear is that I'm getting too much experience. She's she's getting she's gaining quite a bit. She's gaining quite a bit. But I think we'll be okay. He can go all the way behind my G, but so what? Oh, I say that. But he's so weak now. <laughs> oh man, that's beautiful. Now ideally what would happen is Yurchel goes before MCP. 68, 80, perfect. And that would be ideal so that I could pick up my G from here and then I could just chakra them. They'll both be out of range for anything that Islud wants to do. And from here, it's a foregone conclusion that we kick his ass. So much to the point that I'm going to swing and miss so that I stop dancing. Just to, just to save on uh, potential experience, basically. And if Islud is so insistent to come on over to this corner, I can just get onto that tile uh, with the book effect and use Katamachi. So I can start doing damage with Estelle as well. And her being a dancer, not even a dancer, but a geomancer like that is just so important so that I can stack her the hell up with lots of attack plus gear, which is why we're even doing 20 damage to begin with. Otherwise, we would be doing less. So we can go ahead and do Chakra. Uh, the biggest part about that is, of course, being able to equip the Golem Axe, which gives her a nice three physical attack. Now what we want to do is wait in place with you in hopes to line up a flare. Because he still has abandoned, it's going to be annoying to try and hit him. Basically. Oh, nice luck. Nice luck, kid. It must be nice. Must be nice. <laughs> well. Doesn't matter like that, because I can just revive either with a life spell or Yurchul can do it. But it's sort of irrelevant. I just need him back. I need it back, and I still have to wait on Chakra, either way. So we'll go for the Life Spell, and this will keep us for sure out of range of any shenanigans. 
I guess an attack plus a holy could still kill. Or a holy explosion, rather. But failing that, we can honestly start dealing our damage here. It isn't that particularly great physical evade. It's really that magic evade that I'm so worried about. Now, does this go through? It actually does, so let's try and get this flare off. Am I jigging another move? Probably not. He's out of our range, huh? We'll wait. He's got to come back into range. He'll mess up eventually, and that's when we'll get him. Or so my theory goes. By the way, look at this five on one, and we're still struggling. Can I just <laughs> can I just throw that out there real quick? Honestly, it might be worth just whacking him. It's a decent shot. Okay. And this is going to force him back into range to get dropped by a much safer flare, too. We don't get Holy Explosion that time. I can just Chakra right back out of range. And now my G even has a Holy ready to go. Regina's right there as well. He's turned his back to us. I'm not out of range. Well, let's just... It doesn't matter. I can throw a potion if I need to. But I honestly think he's going down right here. No lie. I think this is it for his loot. It's 141. Is there any need to move at all? Not really. If I move behind him, yeah, he'll spin fist me, but... Spin Fist can't actually kill MCP. He needs the physical attack to do that. So we can go for this. Some good damage. There's about 100 right there. Is this Flare 2 still fast enough? It should be. It is. Oh, man. Are we going to do this? I honestly think this is it right here. I think this is it right here. Here's the Holy. But will he die from all this is what I just don't know. If not, I'm honestly ready to click with Nivus again. Because that'll at least save us from his move HP up. Cheryl's just hanging out. You do you, Cheryl. I thought you were this kick-ass librarian, but you spent the whole battle running away. What happened? <laughs> she is very good, make no mistake. So Blair 2, coming at you. This should kill. He's in crit, but is that enough? It is! Yes! Ho oh, ho Hell yeah! Hell yeah, man! Oh, that's so much better than the first time we tried this. Jesus Christ! <laughs> this fight is no joke. Absolutely no joke. I don't really feel like I had the means to rush him down, so I think that some amount of defensive play was necessary. We pulled it off, though, boys! Woo! <laughs> Easily the hardest fight in the game up till this point, in my opinion. Well, maybe the maybe the gate of Lionel, the one where we finally killed Gafgaria. But this fight is just brutal, absolutely brutal. <sighs> Seriously, if this made it seem like I did pretty well, just understand it. The first time I lost so many times, a double-digit amount of failures for sure. Damn, I refuse to acknowledge his power. I can't die. I must bring the stone back. My G, the next time I see you will be your last. Remember. Peace out. <laughs> yes. Wait, is loot. Oh my God. That that couldn't have worked out any better. It really couldn't have. Congratulations, this battle is complete. And for once, I feel like we've earned it wholeheartedly. Whew. 11,000. The Paladin Sword, which kind of sucks. Platina Shield. Oh, a Power Sleep. Nice. And you get the Onion Knight, who is so damn strong. I guess nobody told her that girls in this game are supposed to be weak physically, but she doesn't care about any of that. So, <laughs> you know. Because <sighs> she just, she has like my, she has my G stat line, basically. But we can talk about her more next time. I, oh, that went so well. That went so well. Overall, I'm really happy with that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this part. I'm super hype right now. I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked that that plan came through, dude. Didn't end up shooting with my monk, but I think that I think that just the fact that we were able to break out of that revival loop was enough. 
I think that was enough to make that a win in my book. Anyways, I will catch you guys in the next one. Like if you want to. Let me know your thoughts if you want to. And I will see you later. Peace.